Hello, this is the American Developer here. Today we're going to install the Selenium library to Python. And we're also going to install Chrome Driver so then we can run our Selenium web browser. Now to give a summary of this, uh, Chrome Driver and Selenium are tools to help automate through uh, a web page. And the reason why I'm choosing to use Selenium in Chrome Driver is to actually pull in plain ticket information using the DOM of the website or document object model. What we're going to do first is actually install Selenium. And I'm most likely will have it installed, but if you check the number two video of this series, it's called um, Install Python and Pip you should by then be able to use the pip command and I'm checking to see if I return a version once this returns a message what I'm going to do next is demonstrate how to install a library using this uh, management package management program you type in pip install selenium for me, it's already installed, but for you, it will automatically install it towards your um, your path where your Python's installed. I would also recommend installing IPython. It's a good uh, debugging tool. It actually digs a little bit deeper than the regular debugger. So I, I personally recommend IPython. So let's see this is how we can actually test to see if selenium is installed on your machine by typing the following import selenium and if it returns without any errors that means that you have successfully installed selenium I'm gonna go ahead and exit and move on to the next step which is to install chrome driver Okay, install Chrome driver. Let's see. Probably better to say download Chrome driver. And this is the site you go to. I'll put it in the description. But I would recommend installing what your current browser is. So if you go to settings and then go to help and click on about Google Chrome. I have version 55 so for me I'm going to use the latest version of Chrome driver you just click that and it will download for you and once that has successfully installed you will need to actually move this Chrome driver file to where your Python script is plan or you're planning to run your Python script you could also set it to path if you want but just for keeping this fast we can move the Chrome driver wherever your script is located and I'll say that again later in the video so that you are uh, troubleshooting through your work effectively alright so let's actually write our first script which is just a basic test to make sure that our selenium python all of those different variables are set up correctly so if we go here the first thing we need to do is import modules libraries this is just a typical convention of how most code is actually and what we're going to do is run this run from selenium import web driver now this is actually taking a specific part of the selenium library and that happens to be called web driver and from selenium webdriver.common keys import keys make sure that this is capitalized I've actually gotten an error from that and of course my dumb thing 
I have to press space to overcome that. Import OS. We're going to do some system commands and then time. This It's a useful library for checking. You can actually force your script to sleep for some time. Useful for Selenium. And from Selenium common exceptions import timeout exceptions now as we get into the script you'll see that we'll need to do a like a timeout for how long it takes for an element to appear on the web page it's a very useful part of selenium from selenium web driver common by import by now you, you could just say hey American developer why can't you just say import selenium well as you write more into the script you'll see that I can directly just call this instead of having to do selenium web driver common keys I can actually just type keys and it knows what I'm talking about the what's com compiling what's running this Python code so then you import selenium web driver support UI as UI and then lastly import selenium web driver support expected conditions as EC we're gonna save that I'm gonna organize this a little bit because I wanna see where all my selenium stuff is okay so that's a little bit cleaned up well I'm going to start off with a simple script here and since we're using Google Chrome it is a little bit different from using a different browser which is uh, like Firefox the standard that usually comes with Selenium is Firefox but I'm gonna do Chrome driver because I know especially in automation and the job field a lot of people are always demanding Chrome because that's what most customers use alright so we're gonna go ahead and define a variable called options and we're gonna set it to web driver Chrome options see once again I'm calling web driver directly and then right here I can just type out web driver instead of having to type out everything now add argument you can ignore this or if you want to hear what is going on here I can explain this is all just simple web based stuff that I don't want my browser to have so it's like when you go to Google Chrome and you go to settings and I want to say I want to turn off JavaScript or I want to turn off pop-ups this is the same thing right here that's what I'm telling this Chrome driver what to do so I'm ignoring certificate errors and I'm ignoring SSL errors that is what's going on there and I want to call the dirt path and I'm actually calling the operating system module and I want to actually specify where the directory is located Now this one is just pure memorization. Basically what this means is I want to I'm telling the Python script that my Chrome driver is located wherever I'm running my script. Okay. So continuing on, I'm defining my Chrome driver variable as the dir path plus Chrome driver. Now this is just a simple concatenation. Yes, I'm using the free version of Sublime, by the way. Good, good stuff. Someday I'll buy it. Now this one's more memorization stuff. You're telling the operating system what kind of browser you're using from Selenium. Uh, self I'll do that a little bit later but self is more like a 
kind of like a this and class-based programming, object-oriented programming. So now I'm going to define WebDriver. And then you see here that I'm passing in some parameters for this. And I'm defining where the... I'm telling the driver where the actual Chrome driver file is located. All right, so let's actually test this and see how this works. So I'm going to pull up my command prompt. Now simply just locate where your Python file is located, where you saved it. This is where mine is located. And you just run Python with the script that you want to run. Oh, wait a second. Looks like I got me an error. Well, this is the majority of programming. You gotta figure out what is the problem. No, oh, I put an S at the end of timeout exception. That's why. All right. And it looks like I was able to successfully set up my Chrome driver. If you want to see like a little bit more in detail, let's see here. Now if you see here, you can see that, I wonder if I can zoom in. No, I cannot. Here we go. So you can see that. I have Chrome driver here and this is my script that I just ran that loads up uh, this browser here alright now what we should do next is have it where you actually close the browser and you do that with this Let's actually make it wait so you can see it because it's going to do it like in a millisecond. So time.sleep makes it wait for about five seconds and then it closes. So count up to five seconds <laughs> and then it should just close off by itself, which it did. So that's how you install Selenium on your Python. And that's also how you install Chrome driver on your machine. Of course make sure to have Google Chrome installed otherwise this won't work at all for you. Uh, you and this is a simple setup of how to get Selenium running. What we're going to do next is um, modify the script to actually go into an actual website that has plain prices and we're actually going to extract data from the website using Selenium. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please comment and subscribe as well as like this video. Please give me some support here. Thank you very much. Have a good day.